hello and welcome back to my channel in this video I'm going to show how easily you can um, move a power app application from one environment to another environment so let's say you have a development environment and you uh, create an application and now you want to move it to production environment or different tenant for a client um, you can do so very easily also if you have an update to an app which is already migrated into a production environment and you're doing a uh, a development on the development environment and then you take a copy uh, and update the existing production environment so you can do that as well so in this example I am on an Office 365 tenant where I can see the power app so first app I'm gonna look into this is client record app all this app is doing is storing information in an excel file and retrieving it from there um, and it's the client information is capturing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually export this app. Um, so to do so, if I just check this app export package. Uh, now the important thing here to notice is that in the import setup, what you want it to be imported is, is this uh, an update to the previous version of the app which you have done, or you want is to be uh, create as a new app when it's get imported. So uh, for now, I'll just create as a new app. So the update you will do if the if you have made some changes into the an app and you want to release the next version of the app then you will definitely do the update if you want to move it to a different environment so if I click save um, and I will give it a name so let's say client records app and then I will click on export what this will do is it will take a while and it will start exporting you can see it's already creating a package for me and it will create a zip file so bear in mind that you don't need to do anything with that zip file all you need to do is copy the zip file to the new environment and uh, uh, you basically upload it and import it there so at the moment because I only got one tenant so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delete this application altogether so if I just select this application click on delete, delete from cloud um, now you can see there is only one web application uh, available so now the application is moved now if, assume that I'm in a new environment now so I want to import an app uh, client uh, contact app which is not available already here so if I click import canvas app and click on upload so search for the zip file it will be under uh, this is where I've copied that file and if I click on OK and now it's already uploading um, the zip file into the app catalog and then it will actually ask you you want to import it as a new app and you say yeah the app name of the app is client record and if I click on import it will create um, a new app uh, from that package you can see it's importing your package um, now it's all package also successfully imported now if I go back to the app catalog I can see that new app is available there so if I now click on this app so what it's doing is it's asking the permission on my OneDrive because the Excel file which is sitting on the OneDrive um, is on my personal OneDrive for business so I will just allow this app access to that and straight away you can see all the records are there because it's connected to the excel file and the app is in working condition so that's it for today um, as you can see that very easily you can port apps from uh, different environments yeah. and uh, also if you make an update to an app you can easily um, update uh, an app in production environment if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go ahead and do so I will be uploading videos every single week around Office 365 application.